Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to discuss about how we can automate the option buying strategy that I have discussed in the previous video. So for automation I am going to use Quantiply as my execution platform and Stockmock as the backtesting platform. So we are going to take the reference of Stockmock to understand the or to check the strategy and code it uh, and configure it in uh, Quantiply. So for Quantiply I will be sharing the link in the description below. You can uh, use that link for sign up and you can uh, basically add credits to your account basically after that we can automate this strategy now for automating the strategy the total cost would come at around uh, 1000 rupees per month and that is a very minimum cost so let's take an example here where we are using the first we have where we are automating the first strategy so the first strategy is 100 cpr at uh, basically 9:30 am so go to um, go to quantiply Firstly, add credits, add your broker, uh, add broker. You can see here broker setup as well through which you can add multiple brokers into your own account. And then finally, uh, we will set it up, right? So first click on create strategy here. I will write the name as 100 CPR, let's say at 930. Okay. Now the instrument that I'm trading is bank nifty segment is options, call option buy. ATM, we are not going to select ATM, but add leg. So firstly, we have added legs here. Now go to legs here and we have to select premium greater than. Hundred rupees, right? So premium I have to select is greater than hundred premium greater than hundred rupees. All right. Now I have, once I've selected, I have to change the call one call and one put, right? After that, use wait and trade feature and percentage increase, percentage increase, wait for 20%, right? So we have uh, added 20%. We have to add stop loss here. Stop loss percentage, stop loss percentage, 20, 20. And trailing stop loss percentage here is 10, 5. I have added 10, 5 here. Once I've added 10 comma 5, there is no target in this scenario. So we are not going to add a target. After that, there is no SL to move SL move to cause trade only first entry or re-entry. So we are not going to change anything here. Change the start time from 5 uh, 9.15 to 9.30 here. Change the end time to 40, uh, 2 p.m. After that, there is no M2M -M target. There is no M2M stop loss here. So we do not have to uh, we do not have to worry about this here. Now, after that, it is a, this is a very important part. How do we automate the strategy? Now the order entry, order entry type should not be market or a market. It should be always limit order. And the point difference should be from trigger price and limit price should be five. It is more than enough. And it is a very good, uh, uh, I mean, you can keep a five point difference between the trigger price and the limit price here. After that exit order is basically stop loss limit order and it is similar five points here we do not have to change anything like sl order placement we have to uh, place the sl in advance only there is no uh, we do not have to change change the settings after that there is no entry order delay or exit order delay there is no uh, difference here we have to trail the frequency the trailing frequency here has to be one minute okay so i'm going to save this setting so basically I'm going to save the setting and you can select all the days here. Let's say I'm currently I'm going to select only on Friday and save it. Right. So I have saved this. Now I will go on Friday and I would just duplicate this strategy here and change the name from 100 CPR at 930. I will change it to 100 CPR at 11 S2. Right. So that we understand this is S2 and I will just keep on select on Friday. Now we have just added the duplicated the strategy here. After that, we have to change the, uh, we have to edit the settings here for the second strategy. Now we have to change the settings for the second strategy. Let's go to the settings here. And now as you can clearly see the, we have to increase for 20%, 20%. This is same. We have to add target here. So let's add target percentage of hundred percent. Now after adding 100% target, we have to change the trailing stop losses from 10 to 20 percentage. 
right we have to change the entry timing as well so it is 11 o'clock no. and the end time is 15 okay so there is no m to m target there is no m to m stop loss for this if you do if you do not have uh, m to m targets or m to m stop losses then you do not have to worry about changing the settings here it's important that you always remember that you ha always have to have limit order type in uh, case of entry as well as exit for option buying because slippages would be really huge in case of option buying as the momentum increases the option buying due to option buying you could miss there could be price spikes and you the orders can get uh, uh, filled at any random price let's say that you want to buy that option at 120 but there is a spike so it may buy it at 130 as well right so in that case there would be a huge slippages and you will not get the desired results that you want so this is a really important thing and we will save the setting here it's important that you trail the you 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 use trailing frequency as one minute only and not uh, a smaller amount also you have to remember that this is a trailing percentages most of the time people configure it in a very wrong manner and they use points here so there would be difference in backtest as well as real if you use points because we have backtested it with 20 percentage and we have backtested with 20 percent stop loss 20 percent trailing stop losses now you can change the number of lots from one to two or three as well depending upon your quantity that you want to order so this is for the number of lots here so i will I, i'll just add one here and we do not have to select this trade only first entry or re-entry because we do not have any kind of features here. Now, after that, let's say that uh, you want to add M to M stop losses in, in any of your strategy. So in that case, you can use this M to M stop loss feature, but this feature is not in our strategy. So we are not going to talk about that. Right. So after doing that, use uh, just save the settings and you can clearly see that the strategies have been added uh, here. Now you have to enable these strategies once you select a broker, once you just add your broker, configure your broker, you have to uh, enable these strategies and you have to log in in the morning. You, uh, it's always advised that you keep on monitoring the system due to system failures and it's not advised that you just leave the system after logging in because you may get uh, broker issues as well. So for example, let's take an example where uh, today I got a margin error and because there was FNO was not active in one of my clients' account. So as you can clearly see, you can get um, uh, errors like this if there, if there is any kind of problem. For example, your stop loss might not get triggered or your margin, there could be margin shortfall or anything. There could be any kind of um, uh, issues here, right? So if you like the video, do share it with a friend. And if you want any further videos of configuration of uh, any straddles or strangle do let me know in the comment section below and i will try my best to come out or come up with some videos where you can make your own design your own strategies and be not not dependent on someone now if you are someone with a capital of more than 10 lakhs and want automated option selling strategies you can use uh, the link for inquiry and contact me on the number that i've shared here right thank you have a great day